Okay, let's create a Jenkins server and let me show you how to do the installation. Now, for the purpose of creating this Jenkins server, what I'm what I'm gonna do is I will create I will create a virtual machine on Google Cloud. You can use any cloud provider. Okay, uh, we all all we need is a Jenkins installation. Okay, I will be using Google Cloud and CentOS operating system for this demo. It's a new virtual machine. Let's name it as. Jenkins master. And in case if you are adding multiple Jenkins code, that's the reason why I've called it as master. Okay. And let's take E2, that is fine, with some standard memory. Let's take two virtual CPU, 8 GB RAM. Okay. And the operating system will change the boot disk for the operating system. Let's make it uh CentOS over here and uh, let's say it's CentOS let's say it's CentOS 8 okay and let's create this machine now the so meanwhile this machine is getting created what we need to make sure is that uh in the firewall the Google Cloud VPC firewall you have port 8080 allowed because the Jenkins would be accessible on port 8080. So make sure that you create this rule for Jenkins. So it is quite simple. You'll say create firewall rule, you put the rule name, and here you will say uh, for all the all instances in the network and in the source IP you can put 0.0.0 slash .0, 0, .0, 0, 0. And under port number you can put port 8080 and you can create this rule. Okay. So I have this rule already in place. So this will make sure that you are able to load Jenkins uh, on the Jenkins UI on the web browser. Okay. Now once the Jenkins server is ready, you can click on SSH. Okay. It will load up this window. In case we logged into Jenkins server, you can do sudo to elevate the privileges and then we will start with the installation. Okay, so first thing you need to uh, add the Jenkins repository, uh, Jenkins key on this machine, so I'll Jenkins installation key, so I'll download this installation key. Make sure you are doing it for RHL. Uh, the over here I did it for Debian, but we are doing RHL. Do it for RHL. Okay. If sudo is oh, sorry, if uh, wget is not found, then first you need to install wget. Also install zip. Sorry, unzip. In certain scenarios, you will require this as well. Okay, once the duplicate is installed, we'll try downloading the key. The key is downloaded. Next, uh, we need to do our RP import of this key. Then we need to make sure that we have uh, Java 17 JDK. Okay, this is installing dependencies and then it's installing Java 17 open JDK. Now finally we can say we can install Jenkins. Then we will do a system daemon reload. Enable Jenkins service and then we'll start Jenkins.
And once the Jenkins starts, we can open it in the web browser as well. Starting. Right, now it is showing us the sign in page. Now, if you're doing the first time sign in, you need to get the initial credentials. I'll do a cat to the initial credentials. Okay, so you just need to over this path and do a cat to it. And this will give you the initial admin credentials. And over here, you can say install registered plugins. Again, sir, installed. Now we need to set the username. So I'll set the username as Sabir. Passwords. And the email ID. And with this, we have uh, successfully installed and configured our Jenkins server. Next, we need to install necessary plugins. And then on, on the Jenkins server, we need to install some additional uh, packages such as Git. Okay, so we'll get started with that. <laughs> 